your girl Keita Javon and um, make sure you like comment and subscribe this is just a real quick video um, I just want to let you guys know what I normally do when I have a headache um, they're not all the time but they happen every so often and I've yet to figure out what trigger some of my headaches and so uh, I don't take medicine all the time I don't take Tylenol, Advil, Ibuprofen I don't take that all the time because I just don't want to have medicine in my system all the time. Um, so one of the things I do that has really helped me out is um, making tea with peppermint oil. Um, of course there's peppermint tea uh, that you can purchase but um, I don't want the whole tea to taste like peppermint. Um, so I get the peppermint oil drops and I put it on my tea and like when it first, you know, when it's boiling hot and I can breathe in the fumes, uh, you know, how you're breathing in steam and it just helps to release. And honestly, I think it is. I think it's a sinus thing that causes some of my head, my headaches. Um, for example, like if I get a cold, I always get congested up in here and it causes headaches. Um... And I just know that it has to do with something getting clogged up in here, in this area, in my nasal pass. So, if this sounds like this kind of aligns with something you deal with, check this out. Let me, let me, you know, let me know if that helps you out, if this is something that you deal with and it helps. Um, so, I like to use either regular black tea or green tea. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if y'all know this, but... Great value, I mean not great value, well this is great value, but I get a tea from Dollar Tree, a box with a hundred tea bags for a dollar, and <laughs> I, that carries me forever. Now this one I got from uh, Walmart, you know, you should know the great value, and that's only because they didn't have any at the Dollar Tree. But I'll get a box like this with the green tea or the black tea, and I'll have it forever. So it's not one of those expensive teas that have all these herbs in it. Um, it's just green tea or black tea. Um, today, I did the green tea. So what I'll do, I have, I had, I had a tea kettle. And my daughter, you know, tried to set the house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and left it on and boiled and it got black and the handle broke. Yeah, it was a mess. Well, thank God we're still alive. She did not burn our house down. Um, so therefore, she can't cook anything for a while, okay? So, but honestly, I've been doing this for a while. I don't know about any of you, but heating my water up in the microwave is good enough, okay? So, I'll put the black tea in my mug and, you know, fill it up with water, you know, about here. And um, another thing that I like to add, every time I can, I put turmeric on my food, in my teas, because uh, it helps with inflammation. And that's something I really deal with being overweight, uh, a lot of inflammation. And if I do a lot of activity more than normal on my legs, I have inflammation. So I'm always trying to ingest, uh, ingest some turmeric. So... I like to, I add a little uh, cinnamon, ground cinnamon, uh, that has really great health benefits. I'm going to list it because I don't remember off the top of my head, girl, really. And then um, I also add some turmeric. This was one I got from, I think this is the Kroger organic brand, but just any kind of ground turmeric will work. And, and I'm talking about sprinkles, okay? Just a little sprinkle on your tea. You ain't gotta go crazy. Just a little sprinkle of it, of both. And then I warm it up for about two and a half to three minutes. Now this mug is probably like 12 
to 14 ounces. Um, if it's a smaller mug, you probably only need like two minutes, but I want it, I need to heat it up enough to where you can see where it was bubbling a little bit, like it really is boiling. Okay, our tea is done, or yeah, our tea is done. <clears throat> So when it comes out, if you can see the steam, then that's what you want, cause that's what you need, okay? And this is what I do. I do like uh, maybe about two swirls of honey. Uh, always get the great value honey. As long as it says 100% honey, I don't care if it's organic. I don't know, like, I don't know. Just 100% honey. I don't go into the extra with it. Just 100% honey, that's all I need. So I'll do, let me see if I can hold it up for you guys. I'll do like about that. Two, three swirls, three swirls around, okay? <laughs> if that's a thing. And then um, I have an old candle jar <laughs> that I put my, that washed out, cleaned out, boiled, okay? It's clean. Um, and then I took and broke a, a plastic spoon in half to go, I think it's too cute. And I usually do one and a half of the tea, I mean of the sugar. I, I know you probably shouldn't do sugar, but I I just, you know, I like to give you guys praise for being able to drink tea without sugar, okay? Thank you, that's good. Okay, so then I'll go, you know, one, and then two, I really just want to have just a slight sweet taste, but not overpowering. And then I add uh, some lemon juice. Now everything I'm adding right now, the sugar and the honey, well the honey has benefit, benefits as well. Okay? And so do the lemon. Okay? So I will make sure to put them up here for you because I can't regurgitate them off the top of my head right now, but we working. So I would say one, that's like three drops, okay? That went real fast. Of lemon. All right, so those ingredients I need to mingle real well. And I, as you can see, I still have my tea bag in there. So I'll stir it up. Ooh. Let's take the tea bag out. We um, let the water boil or get hot with the tea bag in there. So it's definitely gotten the flavor. So what I like to do is I'll kind of, let me see if I can show you. Okay, yeah, I can. Okay, <laughs> so I'll kind of drag the tea bag out little by little and use the edge of my spoon to kind of press the water out so it's not dripping. And then I'll discard of this. Put it in the trash. Okay, and then you're going to just stir it up. Now, for your peppermint. So I'm gonna take my top off. I got this at um, Walmart. Focus, focus. Walmart for, I think like four to six dollars. And I do, depending on how intense the headache is, I might do like two to three drops. Okay, now, you really don't have to let this, um, you don't have to stir this in. Um, right away, you'll get the intensity. So, you could just blow with your head over it, and the steam just starts to rise up in your area, in your face, and it does what steam is supposed to do, okay? So, that's what I do. And as the intensity goes down or it's not as hot, then I might take a little bit and sip it down. I can drink it like this and eventually the peppermint oil is completely gone because it's just resting on the top. So the main benefit for me is being able to breathe in the peppermint oil through the steam, but not have the peppermint oil all throughout the tea. 
and that's what I do. And God, I, you know, of course, on top of that, we want to always remember, I thank God for healing me. I thank God for taking this headache away. I'm healed. By Jesus stripes, I'm healed. Like, you know, say those little thoughts as well, because he's the healer. Um, this is just something that I use to help out. Um, because at the end of the day, I'm trusting in him, not in this. But this can be helpful to relieve any type of congestion pressure that causes headaches on you. I uh, hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope that you're healed, uh, that your family's healed, that you're blessed. Uh, no weapon form against you will prosper. Amen. <laughs> All right, and again, this is your girl, Keita Javon. Uh, this has been a video on my peppermint tea and what I use to help with my headaches. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye, dear.